dive into some murky water right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's low. I think last time it kind of was coming down most of that. Yeah. Okay. It is pretty low. Yeah. Pretty slow. We're just stopping for a little break here and uh, enjoying these waterfalls. Uh, beautiful here today. It's just absolutely fantastic with the bright sunny day and the sun reflecting down on everything. So it's pretty cool. The waterfall is cool. So we got a few more kilometers to go, not very far. We're going to get to camp super early and pretty happy about that and uh, get out and lounge around a little bit. I think should be the same stream I do believe um, once we get up over the way there should be my little finger gets in the way uh, uh. okay coming up on campsite number one at Murphy Falls big open area definitely on a slant probably no not the most comfortable a little fire pit there as well even though you're not supposed to have fires, as they say. The only other thing to note over here is a little offshoot trail, small one. You can kind of make your way down. You can't see it right now, but down there is the waterfall. You can't hear it either, so it must be a trickle. And that'll get you down on one side, and then we'll go back up and show the other side where we camp. Okay, nice little tent pad here. Plenty big for one or two groups, probably just one. Again, another little fire pit. Beautiful little area. I like this one for sure. Little campsite up here, not too big. Probably another one over that way if I remember correctly. We'll maybe check that out later. But good sized campsite here, that's for sure. Looks down on the valley, which is kind of cool, but uh, a little precarious if you get out the wrong side of your tent. All right, let's go check out our campsite. We're wondering if it's just good. What? There's no water there. None at all? But I don't think we're gonna stay here. Um, no water. Now there is water and there's lots of it, but it's quite stagnant. It actually seems very still. Um, as you go over to what used to be the waterfall, which is over there, 
that has some running water, but we just uh, don't feel 100% comfortable with it. We have the catadine filter and it's only meant for cryptosporidium and uh, what's the other stuff? Giardia, that's it. And yeah, so we don't want to uh, run the risk of that. Kelly's there. This guy has a fire pit and some chairs as well. Pretty cool. But yeah, there's a couple flat spots over here. Not too bad. One over to my right and one over to my left. Lots of roots and stuff. The best campsites are clearly up top there. And I'm not going to show it to you, but there is a thunder box up there as well to use. So anyways, I think we're going to have a quick break here and we're going to... Uh, yeah, head to Newton Lake, I guess. So this was the spot of spots a couple years ago. To my right there would be uh, a very, very fast moving stream. And then into this pool down here, going down the valley. Except it's been so dry this summer. Uh, it's not a surprise really that... Uh, Okay, so that's our last stream crossing for this hike today, I think, and uh, we're off to Newton Lake and yeah, hopefully uh, have a nice sunset. Basically this walk, we uh, follow the ravine as we go along. It all depends on uh, how much further it is till it straightens out, but it gets pretty flat after a while. But right now, it's basically just right below us there. Not bad. Okay, so the footpath is two kilometers per hour, which that's what this is. Yeah, you'd have to be moving pretty slow. Nice little walking bridge in the middle of nowhere. Pretty rickety. But hey, you're out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Enjoy it when you can. Nice little pond. Looks kind of murky. It's just short of Newton Lake. Okay, so a little note here. The trail goes off to the right. Newton goes to the left. It's very nondescript. You just fortunately see this little triangle of path and then that little sign there. I don't think that was there in previous years. We literally blew past this area. And you can easily uh, camp over here as well. Lots of deadfall. Yeah. Ever since Murphy Brook, it's been quite, quite, well, I wouldn't say excessive, but it's it's, it's rivaling, you know, Shignecto a couple years ago. Yeah. That was pretty bad. Just constant trees down. I'm wondering if this is from Dorian. I'm not really sure. It's hard to say. <laughs> You're so tired now. I'm like, yeah. yeah. It's getting... I'm hard to get <gasps> oh, I thought I could go around. Ow! <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, I'm starving.
Nothing. There be leeches in here. Yeah. Saw one. It is really warm though. Tis. So warm. I think that's why the leeches are here. <laughs> oh, there he is again. <laughs> Looks like he's just uh, just hanging out at the top of the water. He's just waiting, man. Waiting for some fresh feet. I'm doing a moon to moon. All right, folks. Another beautiful night here at Newton Lake. This is a this is a memory that's well described a couple years ago on a similar trip, and uh, yeah, it's been an interesting day, but. You know, we're pretty tired and it was a long day in the end and we'll uh, we'll get back with you tomorrow there and kind of fill you in on the details. It was quite a, quite the adventure since we last signed on and uh, we'll talk about it. Oh, wait a minute. We already talked about it. Yeah. Damn it. I suck at life. See, I, yeah, I could have done it from up here. I think it would have been cool. Looking down on your uh, at the lake there. Mm -hmm. It's still <laughs> recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Turn it back on. Light. <laughs> Just give it like 10 <laughs> seconds, yo. <laughs> this is going to be the best video ever. Okay, we'll try it again. Yeah, go. Thank you. Morning, beautiful day on the lake. The mist is looking really awesome and uh, thought I'd get a few shots. Got up a little early, I actually got up before my girlfriend did, which is kind of crazy. Usually it's completely opposite, so. But yeah, you can't really see in the background here, but there's a lot of mist coming through and some fish eating and there was uh, some loons this morning, which I, it's a, it's a reason I got up and then I didn't, didn't sound off again. So it is what it is. But. Anyways, I'm going to try and get as many pictures and videos as I can for you guys and, and uh, go from there. It's uh, one of my favorite spots for sure, no doubt.
So that's by far the lowest that's ever been. Like I'm standing in an area that's usually covered in a foot of water or so. So yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty low, but uh, we're gonna go take a walk up here in a second, get some water and get something to eat, and then we'll, we'll take, a, take a quick look at it, see if we can get some film of it. 